What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and I'm actually catching up on a lot of viewer request videos, so look for those coming this whole entire week. Um, the Glock 26 magazine option, or base plate options, has actually been held up by YouTube, but that'll be coming out this week, so I look forward to that, um, as you guys should too. But anyways, we're going to be revisiting the M-Tech Everyday Carry Bag. Now, it's not just something that you need to put a firearm in, right? But I actually have used it with a firearm in it, and let me get to that first. So for deep concealment, I usually choose pocket carry. I love pocket carrying. I think it definitely is a place. And I think if you practice any kind of draw, you will get good at it. If you put 60 seconds a day in the morning into practice draws, you will get good eventually. That's just how it goes. That's with anything. But this bag, I couldn't see myself carrying this and actually seriously wanting to use it. Because nowadays, a lot of people carry these bags. And immediately you think, okay, that person's carrying in their bag, right? But at the same time, I have found use for it. When we went out to Florida this year, and I was carrying, this is how I carried while at the beach. This is how I carried with a bathing suit on while walking down the beach. And I realized that it's actually pretty easy to access if you had to. Now, most people aren't, are going to say, why are you carrying at the beach? Guys, I carry everywhere I go, especially if I'm with my kids or my family. It's my obligation to carry um, and use my training if I had to. But this is actually a pretty decent option. I know a lot of people have certain situations like hiking or camping or they don't want something appendix because they're active this is a great use for it bike rides this is a great use for it and I've actually enjoyed that now do I carry this every day not even close do I carry it once a month no but I actually have found use for it like I said on vacation hiking playing and it's actually good quality like I'm very surprised this strap is very durable and honestly feels like a seat belt a flexible seat belt so you know that's not gonna break then you have a little hidden pouch right here this is your main compartment, and I'll show you what's inside. So right now I got a Smith & Wesson M&P subcompact, but if you look, you have this strap, right? So when you keep the zipper on it, when you, it's a quick draw because you pull this and it just opens. So literally you just keep this thing flapping out. I know it looks sort of odd, keep that out, but then like I just showed you, quick draw. And inside you can put a soft holster in there, you can even get hard kydex holsters with velcro attachments and basically you have that in there so that a holster goes nowhere you also have all these magazine slots right here for backup mags and what's nice about this is you can carry more than just a firearm you can carry a firearm on you you can keep medical in here you can keep your keys your wallet you know literally you can put anything in here it doesn't have to be a firearm you can even put pepper spray in there and use that for fast access anyways like i said i use it for specific things like hiking going through the woods this winter when i was trekking out into the field to go shooting through the snow I actually was carrying this with my water in it not a big deal you know I just threw it around my back so it's not just an everyday carry firearm item it's an everyday carry in general item put your knives in there you know put whatever but it has also three compartments for anything else which is nice you can put wallet chapstick and so on and I'm surprised it's like a 16 or 20 dollar bag and this thing's actually held up and done pretty decent now like I said I've only carried it probably 10 times in my life but like I said it's actually a decent carry option for certain situations. Should you carry this every single day like that, every day carry? No. If you are, should you carry like that in the mall? No. You should do your quickest way that you always practice. Unless this is how you carry and you practice every day, I wouldn't recommend it. But for a lot of situations, this is an awesome way to go. Thanks for watching, guys.